We just sat down there and waited for a day or two or whatever, and then all of a sudden, here we go. That was it. That started the, started the invasion. June 6th, we started, we started shelling uh, the Omaha beach. We started firing first. It was still very dark. But the troops land started landing at about 6.30, 7 o'clock. <clears throat> so we had to stop shelling then. Well, I must have been down in the, uh, probably in the plotting room is where I actually got the news. Well, we got the word, this uh, Moody, he's a, he was a chaplain at the time on the ship. And he, he went over the PA system, you know, was kind of letting everybody know what's going on. And Chaplin was on the bridge, and he was telling us that the German shells were coming out and missing us on each side of the ship. They put me up in the gun room, which is where the, the gun was fired from, and uh, wanted me to handle the powder. Now, the powder to, sh to fire a 14-inch shell, is, it took 400 pounds of powder. And the bags of powder weighed 104 pounds each. And you had to lift them from below and put them up, up on the, uh, the uh, cradle to have them rammed into the shell. And um, at, at the 14 is like a tight. 14 inch wasn't so bad. 14 inch, I was behind one. But it take a five inch, I almost take your clothes off. This time they fired the guns. I see that old barrel go back, you know. <laughs> Holy cats, it broke the, broke the darn thing already. That's just what I said. Holy cats. <laughs> of course, I learned a little later the recoil come back and everything. Yeah, I thought, oh, and I said exactly that. He must have broken. And just he just sat there and just waited, waited and waited, you know. And finally, you know, when things would quiet down a little wee bit, so what well I wasn't the instigator, but one of the one of the other guys, it might have been older than me, opened the door, you know, and you could look out and see what's what's what and, but don't go out. <laughs> and I was looking out at the cliffs over there at, at this was Oh, maybe 10 days later. And uh, I s noticed in the water there was some shell or splashes in the water. And uh, come to find out, it was a, a German sniper out there trying to shoot somebody on the ship. So we were out of range, but we uh, uh, they, they sent word to the captain. The captain radioed in, and this is the first time I saw a P-38 in action. P-38 come in and sprayed that beach with, with his machine guns, and we didn't see any more. I was kind of close to one that he got, his helmet got nicked right right up here somewhere, and it, it came under here and came out, came out here. And One of them, the uh, bullet went into his helmet and wrapped around it and took his eye out. And, you know, I talked to him. He survived. So I'll tell you, these were, these guys were amazing. Why? Well, I don't think they were kids much older than me. I don't give a damn. They didn't have much chance for us, I don't think, you know, surviving that. But we did. <laughs>